Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am making uh, a beach ocean themed soap and I don't have a name for it, probably but by the time I put the video up I will have a name for it. And it was actually, um, first let me tell you the, the description of the fragrance. It is has notes of nectarine, bird of paradise, water lily, uh, passion flower, orchid, and hyacinth, and notes of salt water and fresh air. So I found a, a beautiful picture online, and I'm going to show you on my phone. I don't know how good it'll come out, if you can see it or not. It looks like it was made, I think it's a watercolor picture, and so I'm going to try to replicate that in soap. Uh, this was posted on YouTube by Maria Razinska, I think. And so I just thought I would go ahead and try to do those colors. So the base is going to be, to try to get a beachy color, I'm going to use a uh, sparkling uh, holiday, East Gold Coast Holiday Mica. And I also have Neon raspberry, Blue Raspberry from Brambleberry. I have uh, tur ooh, Turquoise Mica from Nurture Soap. And I'm going to put a few poppy seeds in the the gold part for the ocean or for the sand and then I have mixed up this is actually um, oh goodness it just slipped my mind I'm pre-mixed it. it's really thick I don't know some of the oil absorbed in the cup I think because I left it overnight but this is a, a blue color that I had to mix up with oil because it wouldn't mix in it's not a mica I can't think of the name of it and I'm gonna separate it out actually into three colors and then this small container will be for the gold so let's get started I'm just going to texture the top I'm going to wait for it to thicken up a little bit and I'm going to texture the top like kind of waves if I can so if you're new here because sometimes I take for granted that some people might not have watched other videos I'm just adding the lye water solution to the oils and butters I already have kale and clay. I always mix that up in the oils before I add the lye. And I'm just going to get this to emulsion. And I'm going to add the fragrance to each kind of layer when I do it. I want the sand to kind of set up a little bit. And this is just a heavy cream that I'm adding. go ahead and I also have some white I don't know if I said that I'm mixing some white so this is just going to be gold ish hopefully it will look like a sandy color okay and then I'm going to just separate these three off And I'm going to do some kind of mixing and not so much an ombre, but just kind of mix in the colors so they kind of blend in together better.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I have not added the fragrance to my colors yet. And I wanted this to have a chance to kind of set up a little bit so that I can texture it. So I'm going to use my super duper long extended spoon. I'm not going to have it that long. But I'm going to just kind of move it around so that it has some kind of texture to it when I put the other color in. Which next is going to be white. I kind of wish this was a little bit more firm, but I think by the time I want to pour the next color in, I think it will be it will have be able to pour color on top of it and hold its shape, I hope. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Just has some texture to it. And I'm gonna go ahead, actually, I'm gonna do a gold mica line. I almost forgot about that. Now this gets really messy. I'm gonna use my big strainer. Hopefully it won't be as messy. But I'm just gonna put a gold mica line on top. I don't want it to be too noticeable. I mean, I want it to be noticeable, but I don't want it to be too thick. I kinda want it just to be subtle. I get frustrated sometimes when I'm talking because sometimes I forget the word that I want to say and it's something that I've noticed I had noticed more recently that was happening to me and I talked to my doctor about it and he said we realized that I took Keppra for about three years for I had a couple of grand mal seizures. So I took Keppra for that and nobody told me at the time that it can cause issues with your memory. So I have never been had issues with my memory, but it's been so frustrating because my brother was here and he'd say, do you remember this, do you remember that? And I'm just, I don't. I don't remember it at all, and it's so hard for me. And last night, my daughter at the table, my Lindsay, she asked, how much did I weigh when I was born? And I've known, of course, what mother forgets that? No mother forgets that, and I couldn't recall her weight right off the top of my head. I eventually remembered it, but, you know, I've explained to them that this happens and it's very, very frustrating and upsetting at times. So sometimes when I talk, if I can't find the word I'm looking for, that's why. Um, hopefully someday it won't be like that, but for now it is. Okay, look, you can see this is starting to thicken, which, oh, that's so beautiful. All right, I want white, but I want it mixed with a little bit of this turquoisey color, so I'm going to actually do it in another container after I fragrance it.
this sit and wash my dishes and everything, and I'm just going to kind of texture it to resemble waves. So I let it get fairly thick. I'm just going to kind of flip my spoon up. ahead and cut Blue Atlantic is what I decided to name it and I just love how it came out on the side you can see the mica line it is subtle but I really like it I think it turned out really like how I wanted it to I think it looks similar to the picture that was my inspiration so let's cut this baby oh almost looks like clouds in the sky. It looks like the sand, the ocean, and then clouds in the sky. I kind of meant this just to be kind of water, but. Let's see if you can see the mica line. You can. Let me turn it. You can kind of see it. Oh, it smells really good too. Looks like a sideways heart. So I should be soaping during the day now. Um, my husband is on days, finally. So we're changing our schedule. I won't be doing much late night soaping. I made this actually um, in the evening or late afternoon yesterday. There's another heart. And so I think that hopefully the video quality will be a little better since I have a window right here and I have some natural light. I plan on making some loofah soap coming up. I've had requests for some loofah soap and hopefully some, I think some salt bars I have. I have like a list. I always keep a list of things to make. That's kind of cool. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.